Hi, so I'm going to talk a little bit here about the free SSL root authority that I use. So you'll notice here that I'm at the site letsencrypt.org and Let's Encrypt is a free automated and open certificate authority and it is sponsored by Alchemy, Chrome and these bunch of other uh, companies here. And I do use this as my free SSL certificate authority and it is completely free. So this site in particular is a, a site that I run and own and you'll notice if I show you the certificate here the certificate is issued by Let's Encrypt Authority and it is an official certificate and uh, I just want to show you that again here some of the details and I want to show you how to actually get this or, or how to actually get these free certificates. So if you go to this site, letsencrypt.org, and you click on the documentation, and most importantly, you click on the Acme client implementations. So they'll have a bunch of platforms that they support, and this is all, almost all of these are open source. So you'll see here that it supports uh, a Unix command shell command to get the free certificates the browser and I'll, I'll give you an example later I'll, I'll run a renewal of one of my sites closure docker the go Java nginx node.js and in my particular case under Windows I actually use the certify GUI and so if I open the certify GUI here you will notice I, I have a site here that's actually expired and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna renew it so I'm gonna to go to that site and show you here so I'm gonna to go to the bindings and I'm gonna to go to this site here so I have both the www and the plain old the package finder com and I'm gonna go edit here and you'll notice that this certificate is expired so what let's encrypt does is that it actually issues certificates at three month span so you'll have to automate the renewal you could write a script or you could just renew it manually and if you go to view you'll notice this has been expired for quite some time it is actually May right now or June and it's been ex expired for two months so I am simply going to renew this certificate has expired or is not yet valid so I'm going to cancel out of here and here let me show you a certificate that hasn't expired so you notice this certificate is still valid through July and today right now it's January 3rd so I'm going to close out of here and I'm going to go to this GUI and the particular implementation that I used is the Windows Certify GUI and this is uh, works well with IIS so I'm simply going to click on it. I'm going to press new certificate. And it's as simple as my clicking on this particular site and clicking on request certificate. And I am requesting the certificate for the domain the packagefinder.com. And what it's doing is it's contacting the root authority and it says it's updated and you'll notice now this site here is updated and if I go back up here to my bindings you notice for this site now the certificate is now updated and it is in fact renewed. So there you go, that is uh, an example of how to use Let's Encrypt and once again there are many sub different platforms and languages that it supports and many of these are open source so in whatever particular language you use you could script it, you could script the renewals or even the initial uh, initial uh, certificate itself and that's really it that's really what I wanted to mention 
So once again, if you go to letsencrypt.org, it is a very uh, cost-effective way to get free SSL certificates and official SSL certificates that are recognized by all the major browsers. Um, please subscribe, and uh, I guess that's it, and thank you for watching.